Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the app Evernote. Uh, starting right off, let's open up the app. And what this app is geared for is taking notes. And I'm going to show it in the capacity of what an educator might use it for, especially an educator that uh, might be used to small groups, working with individual children. Um, can also be used in a larger scale setting like a classroom teacher with the whole class. Um, and that's kind of the perspective I'm going to be taking this from. So what uh, this program is geared for is taking notes. And it, it does it very well. And it gives you a lot of different options. It also gives you the options of taking notes in several different platforms and then having them tied together and synchronizing them. Uh, just like any other app, uh, you know, going from a, a tablet-based to a mobile-based, such as a phone, and right back to a computer. And so uh, I'm doing this off of an iPad. And so to start, we'll kind of work with the tabs here. Uh, we've got all notes, and we haven't created any yet. Notebooks, uh, I do have some created. Tags, uh, we haven't created any tags yet. And then places, and the kind of geo tags um, kind of keeps track of where you're uh, making your notes from. And so uh, if you're on a wireless network, it usually takes it from the, you know, the closest wireless that's registered um, with your internet service provider. So with this, uh, we'll start with notebooks. And I've got several here op uh, created, uh, zero notes in each one. To create a notebook, uh, I simply click on this um, notebook with the plus sign and it adds a book, lets me name it, and um, since I already have some created, I'm not going to do that. Uh, let's go into Billy's notebook here and create a new note. And let's say um, I'm a reading teacher today and I'm working with uh, Billy uh, on his reading fluency. And so what I'm going to be doing is, is create a note. Um, note was um, day one with... Billy. And I don't like to type a whole lot on the iPad, and so and for the sake of brevity, I'm just going to use the dictation, um, the Siri dictation down here. If I tap on that, I just I will talk into it, try to enunciate, and uh, make my notes very quickly. I met with Billy for the first time today, comma, and he was very pleasant to work with, period. Although he struggles, comma, I think I will really enjoy working with him and helping him along with his progress, period. And there we go. There's our note. Um, from here, I can close this out. I might want to add a couple more notes to this. Um, on a scale from 1 to 10, Billy's progress today was at about a 1 or a 2. Um, he really struggled with... Uh, his vowel blends, and his um, pronunciation. And so that's something that we will work with, period. And obviously I'm not a reading teacher, and <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, you get the point that with this, I'm able to store a lot about this. I don't want to proofread what I've uh, gone through here. If I wanted to get a sample of Billy's reading, I've got some tools with me, and one of which uh, is the microphone. And if I go ahead and tap this microphone, come down here a little bit. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains. Hit the wrong button. There we go. So uh, there's my my note. It's very short. Let's say I'm done with this. I'm going to close this out. And day two, um, I want to work with. Well, let's go to let's go to a different notebook. Let's work with Sally. Sally's been struggling with writing and writing skills, and so I want to create a note. Um, I'm going to say um, writing sample one with. Sally. And with that, um, 
I can do another dictation. I met with Sally today, comma, and she is working on her writing in getting her consonants the right way instead of backwards. Okay, so you get the point. Uh, once again, I'm not a writing teacher. Um, I'm just a nerdy tech guy. Um, in order for me to show what I'm talking about in this, and if I want to you know, show mom and dad what I'm talking about uh, and give them a good example, instead of storing something and, and having it you know, stuffed in an envelope or whatever, uh, you know, a, a folder for parent-teacher conferences, I can simply go ahead and use this um, camera icon and... All right, so there's, there's her example of her writing, frog. And I get a good shot of that. And I go to take a look. I hit OK. And so there's a sample of the writing. And there you go. So um, if I want to do any more notes, I can maybe give even a, a message to mom and dad or just a, you know, a positive note of encouragement. That way they can kind of tell um, from the tone of my voice that I sound optimistic or that I sound concerned. Um, you can do any one of those things. So um, using all of these tools in concert with each other, you know, it doesn't have to be very elaborate. The nice thing about this program is it's, it, it's very quick and I can take notes very quickly uh, and disperse them and save them, organize them very quickly. And so let's go ahead and close this. Um, creating notes are, uh, are just as easy as tapping the plus sign. Um, writing sample two with Sally. And uh, let's see. Let's get... How about we get the notes from my... There we go. My notes for this podcast. So I'm done. I, I accept it. There it is. Um, I can, you know, put in some kind of writing annotation. Push that down. Tap where I want to. Um, Sally is certainly showing signs of improvement in her writing. Period. Say that five times really fast. And I hit close. With all of this, there's a lot of great things I can do. Um, let's go back to my notebooks. Already, I've, I've got this all down in one spot. And uh, if I want to share this out, I can click on this whole notebook. And I can, for one, delete it. But uh, two, I can share this online. And if uh, I don't want to necessarily create a public link, as that's not the intended purpose, but I can invite individuals to work on this um, or to view it. And so if uh, mom and dad are, are wanting to track her pog you know, progress daily and, and find out you know, if she really needs some recovery um, and they want this to, you know, they want to get informed right away, this is a great way to do it. And so I can invite them to view or edit the notebook. Um, individuals who join can view notes. I can change the activity on that. Preview without login, and uh, I can make that certainly optional. In this case, I would want them to probably log in. And then I can send a message and invite them. A lot of, uh, lot of possibility with that. If I go into a certain note and, you know, Sally's having a great day. Let's click on done. And I want to show, you know, the difference between the two. If I tap on this icon right up here, uh, I can tweet it, but uh, I really don't want to try that. I'm going to hit mail, and I can send an e a quick email address uh, to mom and dad. And it's great when, when you view it in an email, whether you're on a Mac or a PC or a tablet, the files are just there. If you tap on them from within the email uh, or click on them to open them up, they play right there. And, uh, and the pictures are right there, the notes are right there, and the audio is easy to open. So uh, really, it's... it's uh, a great app to to share progress or to share 
what's going on with your classroom. So let's uh, let's get out of the notebooks. We've done notes, um, tags. Meta tags or tags are are meant to uh, identify what you're working with. If I go into notes and I go into day one with Billy, I'm going to go in and hit the I up here and create some tags. Find or create a tag. So if I want to type this out for reading, I add it. Um, if I want to make one, let's see, whoops. Okay, reading's already there. Uh, let's see, if I want to go into, uh, type out the word progress. Um, I'll probably spell it right. Add. Maybe we'll tag this with fluency. And so here I've got tags already. I've got these tags um, down as you can see these are the ones that I've got optional that I've been adding and if you add them with other um, with other notes or other students that you've been working with they show up in here as well in this in this list. And so I'm going to tag this with fluency, reading, and progress. Okay uh, updated, created, even knows that I'm in Harrisburg, and I'm done. Let's go to Sally's writing, and I'm going to tag this with um, progress. I'm going to make a new tag for writing, and I'm going to make a new uh, tag for um, letter or letters. Uh, well, let's just leave it at that. And so, I don't have fluency here. Uh, these are the tags that I've got in there. And let's go to close. And it can modify any note at any time. That's the great part about this. Let's drag this down. Now, let's say I go into my tags and I want to look at this. It's already got uh, alphabetized for me. Here I've, I show two in the progress. I know that I tag something. Um, you, you can tag it even with the kid's name. So if I want to find all notes that deal with Billy, or Billy brag a lot, or Susie sneeze a lot, whatever, that's going to be great for that. So um, I'm going to hit progress, and here I've got two. One with Sally and one with Billy. So it's tagging is an easy way to find um, your notes that you know it's there somewhere. And when this gets when you have dozens or hundreds of notes on one particular subject or with several different subjects uh, it's easy to find with these meta tags and so you kinda have to get used to that after a little bit but uh, once you do it's really not a big deal and so I thank you for watching and have a great day